Community still reeling this evening after a house fire where firefighters found the bodies of three people, including a prominent pastor and his wife. Today, we learn the identity of that third person. Ariona Govino, live in Seagullville, with the story. Matt, I talked earlier today to a church member in the community who knew the pastor for many years. In fact, he tells me the pastor regularly visited him at his home and was always doing kind things around the community. Ivory Hall sits in sadness over the death of his friend and Mount Zion Baptist Church pastor, Eugene Cahey. Whenever we needed it, he was here. He'd come down and sit all day with us around this patio here. He was that kind of a guy. Eugene and his wife, Deanna, and a third person, now identified by the Dallas County Medical Examiner as 15 year old Lauren Cahey, died early Thursday morning. The fire is now a criminal investigation. It just don't seem like it's real. There were survivors. Cedar Hill police officers used a patrol car as a ladder to help two people escape from an upstairs window. An officer's body camera captured the rescue. But Ivory's focus is on his friend and pastor. He saw Cahey a day or two before the fire. He brought me some water around here. He said, I know you told me you need some gallon jugs. I got you some here. He unloaded them himself right there. People that vote. We profiled the pastor back in 2016 on his efforts to bring safe drinking water to the impoverished community of Sand Branch. He'd walk the street with people, showing them about the community. I just hope they find out exactly what happened. That is what I'm waiting on. And tonight, as the investigation into the deaths continue, we do know that the family was under a tremendous amount of financial pressure. In fact, the home they had lived in for 15 years was recently lost in a foreclosure auction. Live in Seagaville, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.